So the other day somebody asked me, hey man, would you ever start a family? Settle down, have kids, all that bullshit. I said, motherfucker, I already have kids. But guess what? They don't know me, son. They're still waiting for the fucking groceries. 26 years ago. Merry Christmas. Stay hard. So last week, this motherfucker in a wheelchair came up to me while I was running. Apparently was a veteran or some shit. Fucked up my whole pace because I had to stop. But anyways, he was talking about me being his biggest inspiration in all this. I looked at him down there and I told him, hey man, if I was your biggest inspiration, could you stop being a bitch? Stop being a lazy cripple. Lose the fucking wheelchair and start running with me right now. But of course he wouldn't do it. I said, man, how are you gonna carry the boats? When your own fucking legs can't even carry your crippled ass. Maybe you should have thought twice before skipping leg day constantly for the last 20 years, motherfucker. So anyways, I took his motherfucking wheelchair and I left his ass crawling back home like the bitch that he is. Don't let weak-minded motherfuckers like this bring you down to their level. Stay hard! So I was in somebody's funeral the other day, family member of mine. So you know the whole thing, everybody crying and shit, telling me to stop doing push-ups during the burial because it's disrespectful? Fuck that! I'm not with that soft shit. I did 200 squats on top of that motherfucker's grave while everybody was looking. Should have seen their faces. I'd never taken so many fucking souls at once. And while they were bitching about this motherfucker's corpse, I was getting better and stronger. Stay hard. So the other day I got a phone call. This guy says he killed his family in a car crash about a year ago. Says he can't sleep all this weak shit. I didn't know what to say to this motherfucker, so I told him. Hey, man. Two years ago, if you had quit drinking and learned how to fucking drive properly, maybe your family would still be alive today, but guess what? You can still do those things today, so your next fucking family doesn't have to suffer the same consequences. And before I get to finish my sins, his inner bitch took over, and he shot himself dead. Anyways, part of the story is, some motherfuckers you just can't help. Stay home.